say happy new year if you want to skip the intro because this is going to be a very long video please go to the description box below to get the table of contents to skip right to the section that you're looking for now let's get right into it you are here because you are just moving to New York City or you're someone that's trying to move to New York City and you're trying to figure out how to make money while you are here this is going to be a very detailed video so I hope you guys are ready Please bear with me if I don't have all the techie stuff and all the elements because at the end of the day, you guys just want information, so that's what I'm here to provide. And let's get right into it. Now, before we get into the side hustles, let me first talk to you guys about those out there who actually want to move to New York City and find a career. Now, if you're here to find a career, the best way for you to find one is to get with a staffing agency. Now, some people are familiar with what staffing agencies are and some people are not. Well, let me just break it down. Staffing agencies are companies that hire people like you who have the skill sets that they're looking for to fill either day roles or permanent positions. So for example, um, Maybelline may be looking for a digital marketing coordinator or they may, they may be looking for a manager or they may be looking for someone for just a day to fill in for someone that's sick or a month or two for someone that's on maternity leave. These companies will post on their websites and tell you guys to submit your resumes and then you'll be able to potentially get the job after doing an interview or if they need someone for a day roll, they'll automatically just send you out to the job. Now the companies that I personally have either worked with or a friend has referred to me has been 24-7, Creative Circle, Creative Group, Grandstand, GES Network, Solomon Page, and so many others right here. So check those out, go on their websites, apply, send in your resume, and just continue looking at their website to see what other job listings they have. And once you get a phone call, always make sure you are prepared for that first phone call because as soon as they call you, your interview is starting. Now let's get into some freelance. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of promotional modeling or brand ambassador jobs, but they're different from what you know as a brand influencer on social media. On social media, those companies are looking for people with huge followings, whereas these companies are looking for people who are ready to work right away. So promotional modeling and brand ambassador agencies hire people like you and me to go out there and represent the brand, whether it be at trade shows like Beautycon and car shows, or activations such as Adidas or Nike releasing new sneakers, or Red Bull releasing a new drink, um, festivals, Curl Fest, uh, Coachella. Companies will hire agencies to bring them models that will go out there and represent their brand to basically bring awareness to their products. So these agencies are the ones that I personally have either tried or a friend have referred. Now, it is from the top, all aces, Radar360, Elevate, Push Models, Priceless One, Encore, Evolution, and so many others that you can find right here. So make sure you guys go to their websites, look at their requirements. All you honestly need is some professional, high quality pictures. You don't have to buy a photographer, uh, you don't have to buy a camera. All you have to do is just honestly take some really good pictures with your smartphone in really good lighting. So outside between the hours of 11 and 1, you can get some really, really great lighting and make sure you are the only person in the frame. That is super important. Please don't upload pictures of you and friends. That is not what they want. If you have experience already, you can go ahead and upload your promotion model and resume to these agencies. And once you reach out to them via email, see if they have any jobs available for you in your city, but these are for specifically New York. Now next on the list is freelancer platforms. Now these are companies that house a whole bunch of freelancers that have skills to be able to do side jobs such as virtual assisting, digital marketing, IT, copywriting, you name it, these people are looking for it because so many people are entrepreneurs in the world and they can't do everything. So they go on these websites to find freelancers that will go ahead and do these tasks. Now the following sites that I've either heard of or I've used personally is Upwork.com, Rev.com, Guru.com, Freelancer.com, and these right here. So definitely check those out and see if your skills match any of the jobs listed and you can start getting paid right away. So let's get into some side jobs and some side gigs. Now these are gigs 
that people don't really know about because they're not in New York City, but that is the great thing about New York. They always have something that you can do to get paid from. Now, one of the platforms that I personally use a lot of the times when I was looking for income was Craigslist. Now, I know, I know, I know, Craigslist, scamming, tomato, tomato, I get it. But you have to be wise with any of these type of websites that you go on. So Craigslist has always been a place where I go to just find maybe a day roll or a week roll. So all you have to do is either go to talent under the gigs and find some talent gigs that you possibly can do as well as services and see if there's any skills that you possess that someone is looking for. They're looking for some time photography, hairstylist, um, models, people who pass out flyers, mascots, you name it, it's probably on there. So go check it out. Next is being an audience member. Yes, there are a lot of TV shows that are filmed in New York City and you can be an audience member. All you have to do is go on the website, apply, and just start filling out the jobs that you wanna go check out the TV shows for. Those sites are Onset Productions, nytix.com, also MTV, they are always looking for audience members for their reunion shows as, as, as well as VH1 and Viacom. So make sure you guys check out those websites as well. Then we have Mandy and Backstage. Now those are websites you have to actually pay for, but if you're willing to chuck up maybe $100 for the year, you can possibly find a lot of work. And then we also have Standing Room Only. So check out these websites to see if you can become an audience member for your favorite shows such as Build Series, Bobby Flay, uh, People's Court, those type of shows are on there always looking for people and you can get anywhere from $25 to $70 a day just to be there for four to eight, seven hours. Just depends on the TV show and what they're looking for. So definitely check it out. Oh, and they feed you. So yes, you will not go home hungry. <laughs> Next we have other types of side gigs such as taking pictures of people or their homes. They hire people to take their pictures because they either don't have the person to do it in their home or they just want something more professional. If you are really good with your camera, you can get a job taking pictures of people. So if you are someone who understands how to take real estate pictures, you can go to websites such as Velocity.com and you can sign up to take pictures of people's homes and you do not have to be in New York City to do this. All you have to do is go on there, they're going to have requirements for you to basically show them that you can actually take pictures of people's homes because they're not going to hire anyone. And then you go on there and then you submit the pictures according to their specifications and then you start getting paid. Now it's, it ranks between $8 and $50 for a package of photos, but once you go on the website, you'll see for yourself, so go ahead and check it out. Also, to take pictures of people, there is a website called shoot.com, and you can go on there, you can sign up to be a photographer. There are a whole bunch of people nowadays trying to be influencers, trying to capture their memories, so you can go on a site like shoot.com, and you can take pictures of people, well, sign up, go through the stage of being selected, and then you can become a photographer for them, and you can get booked for taking pictures of people. And if you wanna do it on your own, and you don't want a third party, you can go on Craigslist and post your services. You can go on Craigslist and you can put an ad out saying that you are a photographer and you are lending your services. When I went to Miami recently, I posted a Craigslist ad looking for a photographer, and someone reached out to me in two hours. So imagine if you posted on social media or if you posted on Craigslist that you take pictures of either real estate, homes, vacation sites, hotels, people, and you use the proper research and the proper keywords and you market yourself, you could definitely have a career or at least a side hustle with taking pictures of people in homes. If you are someone who loves taking pictures, you can check out I am Fope. Shutterstock, because Shutterstock is always looking for stock images and iStock photos, as well as the Velocity.com that I told you guys about earlier. And go on there and submit yourself as a photographer. And honestly, all you need is a really, really good either smartphone for real estate photography or a $200, $300 Canon camera if you are, you know, wanting to go that route and just get Photoshop or Pixlr.com pickmonkey.com to edit your pictures and you'll be a-okay and on your way to being a photographer and if you do become a photographer in New York City shout me out so we can do a couple sessions together <laughs> now there are a series of apps that you can download so you can possibly make more money so those are delivery food apps such as Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats, 
Grubhub, or you can do things such as picking up groceries for people like Instacart. If you're someone who wants to make some money on the side or if you're trying to supplement your income, definitely check out those apps. Also, there are other apps such as Poured where there are retailers in Soho or around New York City as well as in LA, but I'm gonna to stick to New York, that are constantly looking for people to come in for a day or for a season. And so they will go on an app like Poured and let Poured know that they're looking for freelancers. And so you will go on your Poured app and then you will see what type of bookings there are and you will say that you are either interested or not interested. And they are a wonderful platform. They pay every two weeks and it is really, really great pay. It's about $28 to $25 an hour, depending on the store. So some clients pay 18, some clients, most clients pay in the 20s and it's really, really great. So check out Hoard. So if you're into hospitality, such as waitressing, bartending, hosting, you can be a part of these apps called, I'm not going to say the name and butcher it, but also Squaddle and Hosco. So go on there and complete your profile and you can start getting paid in your area. So definitely check out those hospitality apps if you have interest or experience in those fields. And then we have things such as being a transcriptionist. So if you want to be, if you're someone who loves to type and you're always ready to go, you're always ready to type, you can get a job transcribing videos for people. So these are the type of things that you can do on the side or as your full-time job if it's something that you actually can put your all into. So the website that you can go to is right here. Also, if you would like to be an online tutor or if you're a teacher, you want to make extra money on the side or you want to make extra money during the summer or things like that, you can go to websites such as VIP Kids. And VIP Kids is really, really good. They pay $25 an hour and they're really, really well known. All you need is a bachelor's degree to get started on that platform. And then you have to take a series of requirement tests and you'll be good to go. Another side hustle is if you are someone who loves to cook, you can actually sell your food. There are so many Instagrammers nowadays who are selling their plates from their homes or from their cars. All you have to do is create a profile on social media, get some really great hashtags, see what the people who are already doing it, how they're managing to do this, and go ahead and take a stab at it. You can sell your food at events, you can sell your food at marketplaces all you have to do is research things that are in your area to see if you can find places where you can sell food also another way to make extra money is to give your home up like a hotel Airbnb everybody knows what Airbnb is if you have never used it before you definitely know someone who has Airbnb is a great way for you to make really good money by giving up your home or your apartment for a couple days, the weekend, for a couple weeks, depending on your situation. You can make as much as $100 to $200 a night, depending on your hotel or your apartment that you want to turn into a hotel and whatever you want to give to the, the guests. So if you, you give them Wi-Fi, breakfast in bed, you give them, you know, bathrobes and experiences and you can charge a lot of money for that. So definitely check out Airbnb if you would like to be a host. Also, other ways to make money is taxi slash ride sharing. So things such as Uber, Lyft, Via are the ride sharing apps that we use in New York City. So if you are someone who has a really clean driving record and you have a car, you can start with Uber, Lyft, or Via. It's really, really good. It's really lucrative. I know people who they started it as a side hustle and then they completely quit their nine to five jobs and just started driving all day. And they love it because it gives them the freedom to do whatever they want and go anywhere they want to. You can do tasks for other people. So TaskRabbit is really good for doing tasks for other people. So everything from passing out flyers, to mowing the lawn, to picking up groceries, to you name it, someone is on there asking for a task to be done. Also, if you are someone who loves children, babysitting. So if you wanna be a nanny or if you wanna do babysitting, care.com is really, really good to sign up. You just need your references because they have to make sure that you're not crazy. And then you go on there, you sign up for babysitting and you can start taking care of people's children right away. Also, there's other apps such as Gigwalk, Field Agent, and Shift. 
So all of these apps go under the umbrella of just doing tasks for other people because people in New York are super busy. They don't want to do anything when they get home from work. They're super tired. So they're always trying to get people to do tasks. So if you're someone who is interested in doing those type of things, definitely go right here to one of these websites and check it out and see how you can start doing these things right away. And the last tip is learning a trade or skill and marketing it online on either Instagram, Facebook, Craigslist, or through word of mouth and just try to see if people are looking for your services. So whether you are a hairstylist, a barber, a nail tech, a lash technician, a seamstress, a model, a photographer, a copywriter, if you have a skill that you know someone would possibly want to hire you for, you should definitely create either a website with like Wix.com, Squarespace.com, WordPress.com, create a website or if that's too much for you, just post ads on Craigslist. People I know have their whole mixed reviews about Craigslist, but it's a really, really great place to just go and do things very, very quickly. Also, use your social media or use your actual circle of friends and family and let people know that you are trying to get paid that you actually want to put your talents out there to the world and that you want people to receive it and actually start to utilize your services. I would just say to make sure that you get business cards. So invest about $10 into Vistaprint business cards and walk away with about 500 business cards and just pass them out at events. If you go to visit someone, leave some at their home, leave some at their job if it allows you to and just put yourself out there because honestly your side hustle can become your full income if you want it to. And last, 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 if you are in New York just to find a career and before you move here, go on LinkedIn.com go on indeed.com, see who's hiring. If you want to work for companies, go on their websites and go to their job listings just usually at the bottom of the page in the footer and find that these people are hiring or just Google it. Google is your best friend when looking for a job online from either a company, any side jobs, anything like that. I don't really go for surveys and that's and I don't I'm not even going to talk about those type of things because I need realistic resolutions that's going to get me paid right away. So the things that I talked about in this video today is all of the side jobs that I have either done personally or a friend of mine has done and they say that they work. So there's no scamming, there's no I think so, I'm not sure. No, everything has either been tried and tested. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to, you guys love the content that I gave you. If you really think that there was a lot of useful information in this video, please share it with a friend. I really wanted to make sure that I did a video that had full context, that gave you guys a lot of information that wasn't going around in circles. You guys got the links, you guys got the information. Go out there, Google, be your best self. I can't wait to see you in New York City. And if you do end up coming out here, really hit me up on Instagram in my DMs or write something on my page. Um, my thing is right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be about how to find an apartment in New York City, as well as how to get around in this huge city. Can't wait for that. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.